Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, I'm doing the Fender Play app, random exercise, and riff with a bass guitar. Um, these uh, random exercise and riffs are sent to my phone five days a week, Monday through Friday. Today's random exercise is warm up one finger per fret on two strings. And today's random riff is Killing Floor by uh, Alan Wolf. Okay, well, let's do this. Okay, the information for the exercise is practice a finger per fret exercise across two strings. And here are the tabs for that. In this exercise, we'll practice a finger per fret warm up across two strings. Here's what it sounds like three, four. Right in the fret hand, we're going to use the frets one through four on the E and A strings for the warm up. We want to use one finger per fret for each of these. Let's walk through it one bar at a time. So in bar one, we're going to start off with the first finger, first fret of the E string, to the second finger, second fret of the A string. Then we just flip that around. First finger, first fret of the A string, to second finger, second fret of the E string. So here's bar one. Bar two, we'll use that same pattern, but on frets two and three. And this time we'll use the second and third fingers. So we start off with the second finger on the second fret of the E string, to the third finger, third fret of the A string, then just flip it around. Second finger, second fret of the A string, third finger, third fret of the E string. So here's bar two. Then bar three, now we'll just use the third and fourth fingers on the third and fourth frets. Third finger, third fret of the E string, fourth finger, fourth fret of the A string, then flip it around. Here's the third bar. Now the rhythm hand will alternate pluck quarter note rhythms throughout. And if it's more comfortable, go ahead and try raking as you move from the A string to the E string. Let's put the entire warm up together now and play it five times. Get ready, and I'll count you in. One, two, ready. Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. Four repeat. Third time. Two more. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Nice work. Now that you've got the mechanics down, try shifting this warm up up and down the fretboard on each string set. Keep it slow and correct, and we'll see you next time. Okay, going to play it again or watch it again. In this exercise, we'll practice a finger per fret warm up across two strings. Here's what it sounds like three, four. Right in the fret hand, we're going to use the frets one through four on the E and A strings for the warm up. We want to use one finger per fret for each of these. Let's walk through it one bar at a time. So in bar one, we're going to start off with the first finger, first fret of the E string, to the second finger, second fret of the A string. Then we just flip that around. First finger, first fret of the A string, to second finger, second fret of the E string. So here's bar one. Bar two, we'll use that same pattern, but on frets two and three. And this time we'll use the second and third fingers. So we start off with the second finger on the second fret of the E string, 
So the third finger, third fret of the A string, then just flip it around. Second finger, second fret of the A string, third finger, third fret of the E string. So here's bar two. Then bar three, now we'll just use the third and fourth fingers on the third and fourth frets. Third finger, third fret of the E string, fourth finger, fourth fret of the A string, then flip it around. Here's the third bar. Now the rhythm hand will alternate pluck quarter note rhythms throughout. And if it's more comfortable, go ahead and try raking as you move from the A string to the E string. Let's put the entire warm up together now and play it five times. Get ready, and I'll count you in. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. Third time. Two more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Nice work. Now that you've got the mechanics down, try shifting this warm up up and down the fretboard on each string set. Keep it slow and correct, and we'll see you next time. This is a nice warm up. five strain bass so I'm gonna go ahead and include the five strain in this little exercise. to the riff. Okay, Killer Floor is a 1964 song by Helen Wolf that's considered one of the defining classics of Chicago electric blues. It became a blues standard and it has been recorded by several other artists. Let's learn the riff from Killing Floor by Howland Wolf. By the end of this lesson, you'll know how to play sections, riff, alternate plucking, eighth note rhythms. And here's the simple tab.
In this lesson, we'll learn the riff to Killing Floor by Howl and Wolf. We have a consistent eighth note line all on one string. Here's what it sounds like. Looking at the fret hand, we've got a few notes played on the A string, including the open A string. Here are those notes. We'll start with the open A string played twice. Next, the fourth fret of the A string with our first finger played twice. Then the fifth fret of the A string with our second finger played twice. Followed by the sixth fret of the A string with our third finger played once. And finally, seventh fret of the A string with your fourth finger played once. Again, those notes all on the A string are open, open, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh. This one bar repeated pattern is anchored to an A chord, the one chord from the corresponding 12 bar blues progression. Now for the rhythm hand. We'll be using alternate plucking and playing straight eighth notes throughout. With the notes, we'll count it like this. One and two and three and four and. Check out the alternate plucking up close. Index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle. Let's put it all together and play through the riff a total of four times slow. Get ready and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. And that's your riff. Let's kick up the tempo just a bit and play that riff a total of eight times. Then we'll end with a single quarter note on the open A string. Get ready, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you've learned the main riff to this Chicago blues classic. Once you have this riff under your fingers, try learning the whole tune. Until then, keep jamming it, and we'll see you next time. Okay, I'm going to play it again. In this lesson, we'll learn the riff to Killing Floor by Howl and Wolf. We have a consistent eighth note line all on one string. Here's what it sounds like. Looking at the fret hand, we've got a few notes played on the A string, including the open A string. Here are those notes. We'll start with the open A string played twice. Next, the fourth fret of the A string with our first finger played twice. Then the fifth fret of the A string with our second finger played twice. Followed by the sixth fret of the A string with our third finger played once. And finally, seventh fret of the A string with your fourth finger played once. Again, those notes all on the A string are open, open, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, seventh. This one bar repeated pattern is anchored to an A chord, the one chord from the corresponding 12 bar blues progression. Now for the rhythm hand. We'll be using alternate plucking and playing straight eighth notes throughout. With the notes, we'll count it like this. One and two and three and four and. Check out the alternate plucking up close. Index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle. Let's put
put it all together and play through the riff a total of four times slow. Get ready, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four, one. Two. your riff. Let's kick up the tempo just a bit and play that riff a total of eight times. Then we'll end with a single quarter note on the open A string. Get ready and I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight. Now you've learned the main riff to this Chicago blues classic. Once you have this riff under your fingers, try learning the whole tune. Until then, keep jamming it, and we'll see you next time. I made a few mistakes there, but wasn't too many. Okay, go and go in practice mode. only missed one note so I'm gonna do this one more time. Mm -hmm. 